session. So it'll be a bit of a, an exciting interactive experience. Uh, let me just bring this up for you. Okay, so as I said, um, several of my colleagues here from the global team will be uh, presenting for you in this session. And we're gonna actually start off with a entertaining interactive Kahoot quiz with Carolina. Carolina, are you ready? Do I need to activate you? I might have to do that actually. All right. All right, Carolina, are you able to unmute yourself and share your screen? Yes, so I was waiting for that. So I will share my screen. We are doing our yearly Kahoot that I think many of you have done before. So please just start going ahead and joining this. Um, we'll give it some time. And I think Ula wanted to say some words while, while we get people to join the Kahoot. No, no, let's, go, let's get started. I'll say something towards the end. It's fine. Yeah. So please uh, join us. Maybe we should clarify whether we in the courtroom are allowed to participate or not. Actually, let me restart it because it ha something happened and everyone's having strange names. So give me a second. It will be back. I think I chose the friendly nickname generator. <laughs> yeah. I would say, so I'll well, answer your question. I think that probably the conference organizers shouldn't participate, but I think that any other people from the DHS2 core team are welcome to, since I think a lot of the information is probably not so widely known that relates to the conference. Okay. Um, and yeah, so anyone who hasn't used Kahoot before, um, go to www.kahoot.it, as is shown on the screen here. Uh, when you get there, you'll be prompted to enter the pin, the game pin, which is at the top of the screen. And then it's pretty um, intuitive once you're there. Um, yeah, it's yeah turn the music up. Um, <laughs> you can also enter by the app if you have it on your phone. No, different music. I've never even heard of different music. This, this is not uh, copyrighted. <laughs> Any... Oh, here you go. Here's some beatbox. So we are 189 on the call. I guess we'll. I see. I don't think we're still on. Give me, a, give me a minute and then see how many people join. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We also share the link in the chat. Why don't we do that so it's easy? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, give another 30 seconds, go to kahoot.it and then enter the pin code and you should be able to enter your name and join the quiz. So we'd love any comments or feedbacks to the questions in the chat. It's always fun to, I know sometimes the questions are maybe, you know, a bit not controversial, but <laughs> people disagree maybe on the answer and that's kind of also part of the fun. And you can also keep joining as I start the quiz. So don't worry if I start it and you haven't been able to join it, you can just join in. Okay, maybe we should get started and then people can uh, yep. continue underway. All right, so we'll get started. Uh, good luck, everyone. All right, so first question How many countries were represented at this year's annual conference? 125, 85, 65, or 105. Mm 
just anyone feel free to join uh we have a free trial so we can be up to 500 actually so don't uh yeah oh pretty evenly spread but yeah the correct uh, as you will see with some of Ula's stats later is that it's 125 countries represented this year so that's really awesome you also get questions for how fast you answer. So that's that's also a risk to take. You see maintenance answer is in the lead. That's one of our core team. <laughs> okay, next question. In which year was the health information system program his established? Sorry for the spelling error. Disappointed there's no year in the future. That would be good. I also have this question at least one or two other years, so I'm like, has it been misspelled that many years? Uh, program man, that's an uh, interesting spelling. Mm -hmm. Yes, so most people knew that it was 1994. So, great job. Oh, we have a new leader, TS, anonymous, maybe. <laughs> okay, next question. So when did the, this conference change its name from DHS to Experts Academy to D, uh, DHS to Annual Conference? Oh, there's some... Yeah, we had to actually check, but I saw that in 2018 it was called the Experts Academy still, and then 2019 it started uh, with the annual conference name. All right, next question. So how many participants did the DHS2 Academy pro program as a whole have in 2020? This is one of those questions where people just have to guess, I think. Yeah. Unless you've been out there counting, in which case, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, and we also went for, for participants because, yeah, that's the, because of it going virtual and everything, we were able to accommodate a lot of more participants also. But yeah, it was the highest number, 1,700 or even 1,740 or something. I rounded <laughs> down. Uh, Tia is still in the lead. Is that Tarje or no? <laughs> Where did the very first DHS2 implementation take place? This one, I think, is the repeat, but it's a nice question. And here, obviously, we're talking about version 2 and not DHS, right? Yeah, DHS. Yes, seemed like people knew or remembered maybe from last year. Uh, yeah, it might be a bit misleading with Norway, but Norway didn't actually use it until COVID now or last year. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep going. In which programming language is the DHS2 core software written? Wow, very good. That was a question many knew. But I also think we've done that a couple of years. All right. Yeah, Lucia has a good point. You should watch watch the video from last year. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I we have changed out some questions, but yes, a few are I'm gonna go back and edit this video and add fake answers yeah. too. This is a new question. The DHS2 software team has developers from how many different countries? How many nationalities are represented? Yes, correct. 26. Lars has some 
stats on it too, but yeah, it's it's really great with so many countries represented. All right. Okay, lead's getting smaller. Decalizer are catching up. <laughs> yeah, and sorry if um, some of you have a bit of lag with the with the speed, but hopefully at the end they'll come down to correct answers. So since pivot table are now integrated into data visualizer, when will the legacy DHS2 pivot table app be retired? Never. 237, 289, or DHS2 can make pivot tables? Yes. Bit of a fun question, but most people knew that it's 237. All right, next. I'm also just trying to see if anyone mentions something in the chat. <laughs> Here's a classic one. Are there polar bears in Norway? I, I looked at some of the uh, older Kahoots, and I think we've had this question since the, the at least the first Kahoot I made in 2017. <laughs> Have you checked again since then? <laughs> maybe one swam down from Svalbard. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, maybe we do have them now. Yeah. No, it's on the on the island Svalbard, Svalbard, which is north of Norway, but belongs to Norway. Oh, then Ooh, shaking it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. What is not a valid D2 condition in program indicators? Help Marcus, please. Floor SDVC or count is still I hope that it is not the first one because that would be delightful. <laughs> Yeah, it is this one. Someone is saying it should be implemented. There should okay, be. I expect that to be added by next conference. I'm ask this question <laughs> again, have a different answer. Yes. And Becca Lyser, which is not Marcus, it's Rebecca, is in the lead. This one is always a fun one. What does DHIS stand for? I think we might have gotten this wrong on our website in one or two places in the past. Mm -hmm. I've tried to fix those, but um or or is it that you think it's the one and that it's not? I don't know. Yeah. There's still the jury is still out. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm waiting for I'm waiting for stuff in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> this is always a fun one. When we did it in in person one time, people you could hear like a groan or a scream when it was uh, announced in the in the audience. I think you have to take your argument back in time to 1994 and argue with Yarn about it. So <laughs> yeah I'm like do we have Yarn or Arthur or Colin here or something that can even Mike is saying it's system. How many WHO metadata packages have been released for DHS too? Yeah. Even John Lewis is saying it's system. John doesn't remember anything. <laughs> Ula, you agree it's software, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. Ula is the final authority. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, 20 different uh, metadata packages released, and then probably 20 more coming as well. So, as Rebecca presented earlier. I don't see how you have time to play Kahoot, Rebecca. <laughs> Multitasking. Yeah. All right. Guess the DHS version. Mm -hmm. Some options here. I think last year some of them were too close, so we could have actually been two of them. So this time I tried to spread it out a bit more. I think this is an example where picking the highest numbers maybe not 
the right one. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Yeah. All right. Yes, two eighteen. Hopefully, none of the other ones still. But what, uh, last year it was like split evenly. Okay. But Rebecca, were you not in the channel where we were talking about kind of questions? <laughs> hmm. Language has the most complete translation of the DHS2 platform. So these are the top four. So which one has the top? So the top four is French, Czech, Chinese, and Uzbek. Yeah, it's actually yeah. Chinese, but they are all up at 95%, all of them. So it's quite close. Uh, and I, some of them are also new new from last year. So uh, it's... Hmm. Yeah, if anyone can tell me what uh, THS2 is being used for in the Czech Republic, I'm very curious. Um... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was also curious about where the Czech came from. I was thinking it was maybe uh, Simona, one of our core team members. But, uh... That's been translating. <laughs> okay. Next one. Ulebrum is second place. Okay. What does it, an attribute category combination do? And I hope I copied in Scott's uh, alternative correctly. I'm, I, I'm not going to bother reading them all. Uh, and hopefully I marked the right one correct. Yes, I wanted to give only God and Lars know also correct for those who chose that one. So, yeah, hopefully I chose the right answer, uh, Scott. But yeah, that, that one is an interesting one. Yeah, I think it's right. I'm not 100% sure, like everybody else <laughs> in the world. That's Lars. What? Okay, yeah, Jim, Jim, Lars, and God should know. Yeah, okay, Ole Brum is in the lead now. Not sure who that is, but definitely someone in Norwegian. We are looking forward to continuing this conversation and everything after the conference on the COP. So how many members have joined in just the last year? And as some mentioned, uh, often the highest number might be the one. <laughs> Yep, I just looked at it today. It was uh, one thousand five hundred in the in the last year, so that's super super cool. Okay, and another question about the COP: Who's received most likes on their COP posts in the last year? I feel like maybe next year. Uh, th this is the top four. I feel like maybe next year it might be uh, the sim might be on this list. <laughs> our our COP coordinator. Wow, Alice! Yeah, it's Alice. Oh, for the win. Really? Hey. <laughs> Alice, you're so popular. Thank yeah. you, everyone, for your support. <laughs> <laughs> I have liked at least one of your posts, Alice. I, uh, I think was it was it uh, yeah, it's must be like the academy post and everything. So yeah, congrats on that, Alice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I think it's still Ooh, very close at the top two there. Yeah. Only a 65 point difference. So final I'm question. Looking forward to the annual conference next year. Hmm. hmm. Loaded question. Actually, mm, take your time. Don't don't rush this. <laughs> also, I think not to spoil it, but I think I removed the points on this one just to be like, it's fine. Even though, yes, people should be deducted points. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, we got some. Who are the who are the trolls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, who's the winner? Who are big winners? Who are the winners? Ulven. I don't know. That's Wolf. I don't know who that is. Speculizer. That's Rebecca. Oh, that is so close, though, to the point. Ule Brum. Oh, right. Ule Brum. 
Okay, well, if people want to reveal themselves in the chat, we can uh, see your real identities. But yeah. I guess no, no, yeah. I'm not banging it. I'm not part of it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's let's continue on. We have a few more things to get through. So the next thing we had on the list is really, um, you know, now that the conference is ending, what what can you do to stay in touch with us if you're not already uh, in touch with us regularly? So I just wanted to share a few of the uh, channels here. Um, you know, one of the um, is just through our website, obviously, uh, everyone should know dhst.org. Um, if you want to sign up for our mailing list, that's one of the areas that we usually post the most recent information, including software updates, stories, academy schedules. If you haven't signed up already, you can just go to our website, dhst.org slash contact and enter your email address and that'll get you signed up for that, no problem. We've already um, got a lot of people in this, in this uh, annual conference on that list. Uh, the next one would be through the community practice. Uh, as Carolina mentioned, we've had a huge increase in the number of uh, people signing up for that. Um, and so we've actually brought on board a community practice coordinator, Gassim, who's going to present in just a second. Um, most of the topics that were present, presented in this conference have been added to the community practice. So you can go and add questions or comments there. Uh, right now, we have these buttons at the top of the site that allow you to easily find those. If you click Browse Discussion Topics, uh, it presents you with a list of all the topics that have been tagged with the DSC 2021 tag. So you can go there and look if you haven't already and, and see what people have written about their presentations and add comments or questions there. Uh, and then finally, um, all these recordings are ending up on YouTube. We have a digital annual conference um, playlist. So you can go there and if you feel like watching all the videos in order to relive the memories, uh, you can do that. Um, but if you want to just go and find the videos one at a time, you can also just go there through SCED and you will then get uh, access to the uh, videos for the topics you specifically want to watch. So that's my part. I'm going to pass it on now to Gassim, our community practice coordinator. And he's going to talk to us about some of the uh, interesting um, activities from this week's conference. So Gassim, are you able to uh, speak to you? Yes. Great. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Thank you for sharing the screen as well. That's going to help. Just in case the connection isn't working. Hello, everybody. And uh, so we have here the uh, top conference uh, users in the community practice during the uh, week. And so thank you so much for visiting almost every day. And um, thank you for statistics will continue like they will always like you know who are the uh top you know users in the community interacting posting sharing uh and it, it's also like you can see it in your profile summary you can see how many hours did you read how many likes you gave or were given and so i like um uh, hope to see more and more uh, active. I know there are users who have been active all the time, uh, but this is the statistics for this week. And uh, so, congratulations to each other. The Sledge the the link posted and uh, and uh, there was the scavenger in gather town so for those who participated uh, uh, they were able to like be served here in a link from the gather town But feel free to send that for today. If you still want to get this activity winner, still you can still participate in the uh, survey and community practice, and you'll get awarded that. And uh, there are also other badges for the DHS2 Academy, and uh, there were two like, uh, participants in level one, academy level two as well as uh, participants in workshops 
and workshops and um, scrap badge or help badge. And the point is to, um, you know, the community practice is your place. So feel home and share and ask questions. Thank you so much. I, my voice was clear and the connection was all good. Thank you for listening. to. Great, thanks a lot, Kazim. And yeah, we encourage you all to continue being active in the community practice. So we're trying to make it as fun and engaging as we can. Um, and so Kazim will be there to help you find the answers to your questions. And we'll hope to be doing more interactive activities through that platform in the coming months. Uh, now we're gonna move on to uh, Alice. So Alice will lead us through a little bit of interactive uh, feedback session for the conference. We hope to get all your feedback and comments. Uh, Alice, you wanna take it away? Yes, uh, let me share my screen. So it's going to be a quick menti. Here it is. So please go on menti.com and you can enter the following code. 36449223. You can then click on the heart so that I know how many people are in. Let's wait a few seconds. While we're waiting, just, um, you know, we try to make this conference better every year. So that's the main purpose where um, we run this Menti poll every year. We're also gonna send, up a, send out a follow-up survey after the conference is over with maybe a few yeah. more questions. But uh, yeah, it was good to get, get a feedback live. Um, and most of you have probably done this before in previous years. Um, but, you know, we did make some changes based on the feedback we got last year. Um, one of the things we tried to make the expert lounges more interactive this year. Uh, we did add more of them. Um, we tried to create breaks between sessions. That was kind of hard. So it's tough to stop people when they're, you know, engaged in interesting discussions. We did make an effort to allow people time to switch from session to session. Um, what else did we change based on last year's feedback? I think you said it's all mostly. Um, let's start maybe. Let's start, have, yeah, let's get yeah. started. Yep. So question number one, describe the digital annual conference in one word. So we have interesting, amazing, engaging, exciting. Cool. Thank you. Let's move to the next question because we don't have much time. Um, okay, what did you think of this annual conference in terms of content? Excellent, very good, good, fairly good, poor content. Excellent. Great. Okay, and especially for people who choose fairly good, I think when we send out our survey after the fact, it'd be great to hear what we can do better. And we have yeah. a question about that coming in. Yeah. Let's move to the next one. What type of session did you like the most? The plenaries, parallel sessions, use case bazaar, expert challenges, or DHIS2 meet and greet? We have the plenaries. I'm glad there's at least a little bit of love for the meet and greet. That was a new thing we tried out this year. Yeah. Let's move to the next one. Um, what were your three favorite sessions this year? All of them are amazing, all of them. Latin America. You can scroll down a little bit on your screen. Yeah. yeah. Plenary Experts Lounge, Meet and Greet, Expert Lounge, Parallel Sessions. Okay. 
Really good variety. Yeah. Yarn and that I use. Expert. Expert plunges were quite popular. That's good. Hmm. What's next? All. Cool. Okay, let's check out. Let's that move one. to that. yeah. Any topic themes that you would like uh, that you would have liked to see this year and that you didn't? Known Latin America example. Some technical training sessions. All the sessions were interesting. Island, yeah. Yeah, let's bring that back next year. <laughs> next year, hopefully. Yeah, uh, it would be, we can try to get our presenters to use more of these interactive tools. I think that also is, if we do this online again, hopefully we'll yeah. not be online again, but. All right, let's check out the next one. Yeah. How can we improve the annual conference? More scavenger hunts, okay. No Corona. Yeah, I see more more requests for short breaks. We really did yeah. try. Um, we'll try harder next time to give people time to move between sessions. Yeah, not virtual. We hope to next time, hopefully. Face to face. Yeah, for the MOH, I think we really do want to hear more from them. It's just we don't get a lot of abstract submissions from the MOH partners. So for all of you who are in touch with them, I really encourage you to, to encourage them to submit abstracts or submit presentation proposals, because we would like to hear more uh, directly from uh, in-country MOH and other partners. Uh, more translation. It's the first time that we tried like the interpretation in French, and I think it worked very well. And the community was very happy about it. Yeah, okay. Let's move to the next. What was the most valuable, important thing you have learned? Digest to education. User perspective, best practices. New features of DHIS2, overall experience. Meet the community passionate about improving data. Yeah, what a good variety here. I think it's yeah. that, that's the interesting thing about the parallel sessions and the, the plenaries. People come with different perspectives and get different. Uh, <laughs> Marcus is real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, you've only seen them online. It could be a very convincing animation. <laughs> All right, let's check out the next one. Yeah. I feel like you should turn on this camera so we see them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use the COP to get information about the annual conference during the conference? Okay. And um, yeah, it's something we're trying out still to find a good balance for the COP in the conference. Yeah. But good to see the majority of people used it. Yeah. Next question. Many speakers have posted summaries of the presentation on the COP in advance. How did you find this new process? Very useful. I was able to interact more with the presenter. Was informative, but did not interact much with the presenters or not particularly useful. I didn't go the COP at all. Okay, seems like most of the participants found it very useful. That's good. Okay. N next. Um, did you join the DHS2 community of practice for the first time during the annual conference? Already a member? Okay. Seems like most of them were most of the participants were already in members, basically. Hmm. That's good. Next question. Have you participated in some of the Q and A's during the conference? 
on the COP in the chat on Zoom or not at all? Okay, the majority are engaged um, in some way, that's good. Yeah. Do you plan to continue using the COP after the annual conference? Yes, no, not sure. Yes. Okay, this is a really that's important good. one for us. So yeah. that's great. That's good. Let's see next. How was Gather platform for experts lounges and the virtual social events? It was great, much more interactive. It was okay. I would have preferred Zoom. I didn't attend any. Looks okay, like looks it was like, popular. Yeah, generally popular. That's good. I think that's the end now. Yes. Thank you. All right, great. Thanks, Alice. So then I will share my screen and Ola is going to um, take us through the last part of the presentation. So one second. Alice, can you um, stop sharing? Thanks, Alice. And thanks, Max. <laughs> Right. So already a little bit over time, I'll try to be super quick. I've only written 10 pages speech. <laughs> I think many of us look forward to a beer now. Okay, but uh, we have to say a big, big thank you to all, uh, all of you that have contributed with presentations and, and sessions during this conference. As you can see, we had a total of 182 speakers. And it's great to see so much diversity among the DHS2 implementation stories and experiences being shared. That is the core of what this annual conference is all about. And thanks to all for asking questions, bombarding the Zoom chats, participating in our expert launches, joining the virtual meet and greet session, and even for hanging out on the virtual beach on Gather all contributing to making this truly interactive conference. As we have said many times now, we strongly, strongly encourage you all to continue sharing your experiences and interacting in our virtual community of practice. Share your success stories, of course, but maybe more important, share your challenges and continue to ask us critical questions. That is how we learn and improve. Next slide, uh, Max. So as you can see, this year was another record year in terms of uh, participation. Although you may have not seen all of them in your sessions, we had a total of 1,494 participants registered from across 125 countries. That's uh, pretty amazing. This was our second digital annual conference and hopefully the last one. But there are amazing opportunities open up by doing this online and allowing you all to participate without traveling all the way up to the top of the map. We, of course, have had many more participants these last two digital events than ever before, and also a lot more diversity. Next slide, Max. So the ministries of health are our most important partners, and it's great to see that so many ministries from across the world participated this year. Total of 66 countries have been represented, and that shows how important these di digital events can be. You see them all listed there. Uh, last year, we had uh, about 50, so we, we are increasing every year. We can do the next slide, some more stats. So as you know, we all love statistics at uh, HISP, and here you have some more from this year's participation. Uh, many different organizations have joined us here, and uh, you can see the big, biggest ones listed, which is a good mix of experts from the HISP groups, international organizations, and uh, NGOs. And on the country list, you can see Africa is dominating uh, in the top 10 list of countries, if we ignore the US, <laughs> um, and all the big countries in Africa are leading there. But it's also good to see that other regions are showing interest over the last year, we have seen a lot of interest from countries in Latin America, and it's been great to welcome you all here this week, and for the first time to do a conference session in Spanish. And to all the Francophones, we hope that you have enjoyed the real-time translations. We are trying our best to be more inclusive and hope that this new feature worked well for you. 
when we do our physical conferences with a limited capacity, we always try to, to find the right balance and have diversity across the different types of organizations represented. And it's great to see that also when we open up completely, that there's a mix of participants from ministries and governments, from international organizations, NGOs and consultants. You're all very much welcome to the DHS2 community. Next slide. So Max and his team organizing our online events. They've done a great job transforming not only this conference to a digital event, but also many of the academy courses. And you have hopefully also noticed that we've been organizing several public DHS2 webinars over the last year. And that is something that will continue to expand on. Uh, keep an eye out for the newsletter, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and look out for announcements of future digital events. And we hope to see many of you there. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Alice, Max, and the rest of their team for such a great job organizing this event. Please turn on your cameras so that we can see all you guys that have worked so hard to make this a smooth digital experience for everyone. We have more, we have, we have more. Simona, Grant, Martin, you all there? Big hands. Wish we could all be together and celebrate. So big thanks to you guys and uh, hope to hope you get some rest, well-deserved rest over the weekend. So digital is great, but we also very much look forward to welcoming you back to Oslo next year for a physical conference. We are social human beings and we look forward to catch up with you in person. We also look forward to start traveling again and to meet and engage with you out there in the world in your implementations and to continue to strengthen the DHS2 platform and implementations together. On behalf of the HISP team here in Oslo, big thanks to everyone for joining us this week and hope to see you again soon. Goodbye and have a good weekend.